Yep. So today we're planning to visit the Mobility Pavilion, which is right behind us, as you can see, the screen right here. We're also going to check out some of the most pavilions here in this district, uh, which includes the South Korean Pavilion, as well as the Thailand Pavilion. And we're going to try out the Korean food today. So they gave us a phone to take a selfie. By the way, this is Samsung. Yeah, of course, it's not iPhone. Yeah, we went through it. There was really just nothing. Uh, besides, there was a like a you know like a dancing show. The whole pavilion was just like a walkthrough, and it has views on the top. Um, under the sun, there was no roof, so the entire trip was pretty hot. You know, we had to bring our own fans and yeah. So I I personally didn't like it. Yeah, because like everybody's like, oh, the Korean pavilion is really popular. You should go check it out and this and that. Yeah, it can't compare to the Germany pavilion. Yeah, yep. 
Germany is still the top one.
showing how well the city has adapted to the system and their physical environment. It looks at how well people's practical and emotional needs are met. Well, in that case, I've got an idea. But well, we have to go first. Okay, it's worked! Hakim, let's use our other Look at the score! Well done, Shams. This will show you how to be a science problem. Shams, Surprise. It was embarrassing actually because I work at the United States Pavilion and we have um, a similar globe and astronaut but the ones in here are just way beyond amazement. Yeah, this is a must come pavilion. Yeah, I think this one is like a 10 times better than Opportunity Pavilion. Well, so this is the uh, food truck area. Um, they have gotten uh, traditional or classic Arabic sandwiches like shawarma. They also have uh, Domino's over here if you want some pizza. So they also have burritos here uh, if you are a fan of burritos. As well as some Arabic sweets like mangusta. Passion fruit green tea, medium. Can I have milk green tea with pearl? Yeah, together. Yeah. My boba tea. I think the taste is pretty good, but the boba is kind of too soft a little bit. Her boba is too soft. It's too soft. It's too soft. It's too soft. It's too soft. 
of uh, all species of the birds and our birds they are migrating everywhere to the Asia to the Africa to the South America everywhere literally so this kind of symbol of migration of the birds and this tale it represents uh, like uh, the whole Poland like Polish industry Polish materials like mineral resources Polish landscapes and Polish uh, hospitality as well here you can see like the glass part so Actually, it has like the few meaning. The first meaning is like maybe so obvious, but it stands for the glass industry of the Poland. The second meaning it stands for the uh, like all water across the Poland, like rivers, lakes, uh, sea, etc. And uh, third meaning is like the hidden meaning. Uh, it stands for the global uh, warming issues. And over here we got very interesting sort of material, so you can touch it, you can try it. What do you think is that? No, not really. It's kind of metal. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I will tell you. So that's 3D printed aluminium. Yeah, and that sort of aluminium is used uh, in the spacecraft industry. It's because um, the material, that sort of aluminium, is very lightweight and at the same time that material is very strong. You can see like the typical Polish ornament, Polish painting, like this flower. <laughs> Actually, we got this kind of microphones. You can say something like hello to that microphone. Hello. You can see the lights, and all the lights across the table, they are going to connect on the top of the table. So, the main idea is like the connectivity of the nation, connectivity of the people, and connectivity of our minds. This what you are in the middle of the night when I can't get hold of it. Inside. The exterior was pretty good though, but inside is not that 
creative. Yeah, it kind of reminds us about the uh, China Pavilion, where they spend lots of money on the exterior of the building. Um, and on the inside, they really just didn't plan anything out. Nothing was organized, you know, it was just like, it was all clustered and no path was designed and you had no idea where to go. or not but it really just takes no time for the queue to move on and once you're in a pavilion you basically just walk through all of the exhibits and it doesn't really take any time So good. This is mm -hmm. second one line. Okay.
fried chicken and beer, perfect match. Not in Expo. So the chicken here is actually pretty good. Um, it's slightly sweet and uh, it's got a little bit spice to it. Yeah, the chicken goes well with the beer. Like what the Koreans always said, chicken and beer. Been here for like two minutes now and it feels it feels like we're not inside the expo here. <laughs> yeah, it feels like we're in K-Town, back in New York. Trust me, after this class, I will be red like head to toe. I feel like I'm already burning. That's like from our jeans. I think it's from my dad. Yeah, because uh, our grandpa from the mother's side, he's pretty good at drinking. Well, he drinks a cup of red wine every single time when he has when he has a dinner. So it's definitely from the mother's side. Just finished our dinner. On Thursdays they open until 2 a.m. But I'm not sure we're gonna stay to two. I don't think so. I'm heading to water feature. Haven't seen it yet. Water feature right here. Here we are at the Awaso Plaza. So this is where the opening ceremony was held, as well where the closing ceremony will be held. As you can see, it's a big dome, and uh, there will just be big projectors inside and projected to each of those, uh, I guess you can call it circles or nets.
in just a day than the Opportunity Pavilion. By the way, check out my previous videos for Opportunity District. And as always, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye! See you later!